Marie. Welcome back to my little English page. Today, I'm giving you a few tips to make your lessons extra. Okay, let's start easy. First tip, make sure your name is always, always, always on the board. Why? Because that way you will not have um, that little moment of embarrassment between you and your students when you catch them asking another classmate, what was the teacher's name again? That's always a little bit embarrassing. Another fun little tip is to have your students translate whatever is written on their top, on their notebook, on their backpack, have them translate it from English to their own language. Why? Well, the first time they probably won't be able to translate what it says and they will probably feel a little bit embarrassed about it, which means that next time they wear something with writing in English to their English class, it can be about 90% sure that they will check it before. And if they check it before, they have to force themselves to memorize it so that they can translate it in class. That way, they will just memorize new vocab or new expressions just from having to translate it in class. And it's fun! This is actually something that might come in handy and if it does, oh, you're going to look super cool and it's also quite useful. So, let's say that you use the wrong marker and that you use a sharpie on your board. Those can't be erased, right? Unless you use alcohol. Who has alcohol on them all the time? No one does. But what you don't know is that your regular whiteboard marker has alcohol in it. So you can actually use it to erase whatever you've written with the Sharpie. Let me show you. So, let's draw something. Smiley face. All I'm going to do is cover the marker with the whiteboard marker. Well, just go over it, don't hesitate. So let's just erase the face. Magic! Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. And your students will be super impressed. Trust me. Now, I'm going to give you some tips about how to write on the whiteboard because that will really, really help you get your students' attention and get them to focus in class. So, I'm going to try to show you how to do it as a right-handed person, but I'm left-handed. So, I'm sorry if my writing is a little bit crappy. Imagine that the writing is okay. So, what is the main problem when you write on the board? The main problem is that you have to turn around, which means you have no clue what is going on in your back. That can be problematic, but also if you're trying to get your students to answer something or to talk to you, they're not going to because they can't see you and they just think that you're not actually waiting for an answer. So what is my tip? Well, you're gonna have to write facing the class. Yes, it sounds absolutely crazy at first, but the more you practice it, the easier it becomes. This is a technique that they taught me when I was doing my TEFL certificate and I've been using it ever since and to be honest, it works pretty well. So, imagining that I am right-handed, I'm going to keep my body open and write this way. Of course, I'm not going to literally stay like this, it's impossible, I'm not a machine. But I'm going to keep my body open to the classroom. So for example, let's practice writing my name. Oh, I would write... Like this. Hey, pretty okay for somebody who's left-handed. Alright, so just make sure you keep your body open. That way you can be writing something and still explaining. And
and your students will still pay attention to you. Now, if like me, you are left-handed, it's a lot more challenging because naturally your hand is in front of your body. So you're always going to be a little bit more closed. But try to keep in mind that openness. Try to keep your body somehow turned to the classroom. How I do it? Like this. Okay, so of course, I'm not fully open, it's impossible. But I try to stay as open as possible, and I can still see what is going on in my classroom. And that way, you don't get paper ball thrown at you. Doesn't happen. Alright guys, we have reached the last tip. And it's the best one. My tip is to go check out my blog. Why is this such a great tip? Well, I spend a lot of time designing activities and materials. And what I've done is I have put them all, or most of them, right there, right there. And the super cool extra thing is it's all free. All you have to do is click and download. That's pretty cool. So, in return, I would really appreciate if you could just give a little like to the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found all those tips very useful. I tried to have a little mix, some that are just fun and maybe silly, and others that are more focused on being very useful and easy to apply in class. Now, I have mentioned my blog before, but there's a lot more. I have a pretty active Facebook page and a pretty fun and pretty looking Instagram page. Now, I use those medias to share a lot of videos with a lot of idioms and a lot of vocabularies. So this could be a page that could come in handy for your students. So, I think that's it guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and press on the bell button. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and keep on learning and teaching, of course. Bye-bye.